How's it going guys? Matt and Jackson here with the Toaster Bros and today we're going to be doing a $500 budget gaming PC. Let's get right into it, shall we? All right guys, so this is a $500 PC build, but actually a majority of these parts can be obtained for under $500. So you have room for maybe adding an extra hard drive or something else later on if you wanna spend a full $500. But let's get right into the parts. So the CPU that we have here is the Intel Pentium Gold G5400. Now this is the newer version of the G4560, a CPU we have used in budget builds in the past and is a dual core hyper-threaded CPU that is really good for gaming and pretty cost-effective too. Now for the motherboard, we have the MSI H310M Pro VD motherboard. Now this is a micro ATX motherboard with a pretty clean color scheme, upgradability to higher tier i5s or i7s if you want to. Now for RAM, the thing that is very hard to get your hands on nowadays without spending a ton of money, this is eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 2666 megahertz. It is a single stick of memory. As compared to Ryzen, Intel doesn't hurt in terms of performance compared to single channel, dual channel nearly as much. And this was the most cost effective option because our motherboard only has two RAM slots and we were gonna be spending anywhere between 10 to $15 more for two channels of memory instead of just this one stick of RAM. So this was our best option. Now for the GPU, we have the GeForce GTX 1050 from Gigabyte. Now, yes, we had to opt for a 1050, not the 1050 Ti, because those GPU mining prices are still kind of bad. They're starting to get better though, and you could opt for a 1050 Ti later on this year if you're watching this video. I will leave updated links in the description down below. But this should be plenty for playing games like Fortnite, CSGO, diving into games like PUBG even with how optimized it's getting. And this is a really awesome graphics card to consider and should work really well for the build. Now for storage, we went a little bit different here. Normally for a budget build, we go with just a one terabyte hard drive, but I'm starting to suggest that we go for an SSD, a 240 gigabyte SSD for this build, because you'll get a much better experience inside Windows. And if you're just playing games like Fortnite, PUBG, CSGO, stuff like that, you can install those easily on this with the option to add a one terabyte hard drive later and not have to deal with reformatting or reinstalling Windows on a new SSD when you plan to upgrade. So this is a very good option to go with and OCZ Toshiba makes really good SSDs. As for the power supply, we went with the Corsair CX450. Not the EVGA power supply we normally use, but this is a power supply that a lot of people recommend as a really good budget option as well. You can go the EVGA option. There will be other options you can purchase if this thing's out of stock, but 450 watts is plenty for this budget build that's pretty much gonna be sipping on power and should do a great job. Now this is the case that we chose for the build, the DIY PC J 180-W, their naming scheme could be a little bit better, but this is another DIY PC case, which we do use a lot in our budget builds and highly recommend you use for their pretty good build quality for the price. So how about we just get all these parts together and make a really awesome gaming PC build? Dude, who is this? Wow, returned. This is a really easy upgrade you can do to really lighten up your case is just adding case fans uh, or swapping the original case fans out a lot of times when you buy a case. Um, it usually has a few extra slots for fans. So you can buy like a three pack for, you can get them for under like $15 a lot of times and then throw them in there and it lightens up the case a lot more without having to get LED strips and whatnot. I like cheap, you know? I like cheap. For uh, basic computing and slight gaming, it'll be great.
We hope you guys enjoy this build as we really did. It was another one of the very easy to put together ones and it was actually a tad under $500. It was about 480 mm -hmm. ish So just like Matt said, if you want to use that to get an actual hard drive maybe or some LEDs to make it a little bit brighter, the fan did help, but you could always use more LEDs. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to purchase parts for this PC, link in the description down below as always. And if you have any other price range recommendations for a PC build, comment them down below. We'll definitely want to hear that. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Peace out.